so one of the things that we did is I think our first time we ever got together, we kind of like tried to do a bunch of different things and we ended up just being like, you know, let's meet for a walk tomorrow. And so we both live in the same neighborhood. So we went for a walk and we stopped by my house and sat on our deck for a tiny bit and you met my husband. And, um, and then that was that. And then I don't know how much time it was. We did, we did what I thought we did super well for there for a little bit was kind of create a little bit of a rhythm where I would walk to your house, uh, on Thursday morning and bring hey, my damn. coffee and we would sit on the porch for an hour and just kind of talk, which is like the, the dream kind of, you know, to have this local friend that you can just walk to her house and, and catch up and talk. And we didn't keep that going. It wasn't like our, my schedule. We're going to get into that. That's a big issue here. My schedule wasn't consistent enough for us to keep doing that. But yeah, how does your sense go? What do you remember about kind of the first three to six months of our relationship? Like, did it feel like we kind of had a rhythm going and had momentum from the beginning? Or do you feel like it yes, kind of I did. took a long I while? Did. Yeah, because I have a fear, right? Which is that I'm either invisible or that people like me until they get to know me. And then they're like, oh, she's oh. too fill in the blank. And I was like, well, maybe she's going to be like, oh, it's great. She's nice. But then she's just fill in the blank. So I was like, let's, I'm, I'm, my mind, I'm like, how long is it going to take for this to kind of just wean or them just like, oh, I'm going to go into other greener pastures. But no, I remember that there was a frequency you would say, you know, I don't know if it was maybe a couple of times a, a month, you know, we do the, the walks, you know, you like, and you'd come to the, the, to my house and we'd have coffee, you know, you'd spend a couple hours and then head off, you know, around 10 a.m. to do your, your, your life again. But the fact that you would walk over here, you'd make the time, you'd reach out, um, uh, it was like, oh, I think she, she must enjoy my company. She must think there's something of value here. So that's kind of the running story in my yeah. mind is because yeah. I know, I believe, and I know I'm a good friend. I give, I hear, I listen. I, I tend to go deep with people. That's my just, style. Um, I care. I want to listen. I, I try to be mindful to not hijack the conversation, to not make it about me. Although so certainly a few times I felt like, oh shit, I've just kind of like taken, taken over this airspace. Um, but I try to be very mindful. And also, you know, there's an element of reading your body language. How, what are you comfortable with me saying? What are you not comfortable with me saying? You know, mm -hmm. sometimes I can be loud and dramatic and boisterous and uh, say things that maybe some people are hesitant to say. And I'm like, fuck it. You know, this is who I am. This is what I believe in. If you don't want if you don't want to hear it, then, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm not going to twist myself, you know, and you seem no. to roll with the punches and yes. be okay with it. Totally. Um, not, not, and just, I, not just okay with it. Like, I love that in you. What that does to me, I've always been drawn to people who are like, I know who I am. And just, I think, and I remember even back in 2011, I remember reading an article about how how women in power, it was like negative correlated. The more women had power, like we looked less on them. And with men, when it was like with power, we like, like we were highly correlated. So we would like admire men in power. And I remember just being like, that is not okay. <laughs> like that is not right. And just making this conscious choice. Like I am not, I'm going to go against that bias. Like I am going, and I found myself really drawn to women who own their power, who know their power. And it's almost because I maybe didn't that much. And maybe I still have areas where I can keep growing in. And so to me, I, I'm kind of drawn to people who are braver than me or more expressive or who can say and do, or just who, you know, it might not even be who I need to become or like what my style is, but I love what it says to me is if you're willing to be yourself, you're giving me permission to be myself. And so it's a really beautiful, um, the way you show up in life gives that kind of permission and modeling of somebody who is willing to know who she is in this world. I find it very attractive. Well, thank you. And I had this, you know, I did put you on a bit of a pedestal because I did, you know, because I've known that you'd been an entrepreneur for a long time. You'd written books, you were a professional speaker, you know, you, you were really, this was your, your career. This is your profession. It's, um, and, um, and so there was an element at first of how is she, does she understand me? I do more spiritual type entrepreneur work and oh that was the other thing that i thought was super cool that you did you brought a copy of my book but as did. soon as you met me practically you're like oh and i bought a copy i'm like you did you actually put I your did. own little moolah to get you know <laughs> and so i was like wow you know she seems serious and and interested and and i think for me to kind of put put you know to start being the candid part was like it was try i think the that fine line between 
what is what does she want from this like what is she getting what is her comfort level what's the boundaries because I know you're really good with managing your time and being and holding it with with the sacred preciousness which that I think is very wise um but I wasn't sure then how to what to do with it because it was on the one hand we could go far wide and deep really fast and i think we did that because you do create such a safe space and i think one of the things you do so well and that is so rare is that you put all eyes on the person you're talking to you're fully present you listen you never start with you you always want to hear about the person in your presence and i've seen you do this with myself hmm when it's just the two of us, but with everyone else that you're around, it's like you, you put it on them. You like, show me, tell me, talk to me. And it does create an incredibly welcoming space, right? You feel seen, heard, understood, um, like you're interested. And that's so rare in a world where everyone wants to talk before they want to hear. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's really nice. And I would couple that with the fact that time was contained and my inner wounds and bias of i want to be special i want to know that the person actually values me and sometimes i think that's with words of affirmation um you know though quality time is a huge thing especially for somebody who has limited time and then and so then like well you know and then i guess wondering what's where's too much? What do I ask for? And just then in, in kind of intuiting the cues of maybe this is too far. Maybe this isn't. Yeah. But then of course we met for new year's Eve. And then we had this like through three couples dinner where we talked about the most intimate things ever. It was like this no di- nose dive into vulnerability of like massive proportions. Mm-hmm. And then we go back into our worlds and it's yeah. like, okay, so where is that? It just feels like, so there's always that part of me that's like, I want to have my best, my inner circle, and I want to be able to have that. And many ways we have, we've masterminded together, we've done business conversations together, always with a lot of reciprocity. But it's sometimes I wonder, there's a part of me that kind of wants more, but then I'm like, I don't know if she wants or has the capacity for more. Do I talk too much about business? Do I talk too much about myself? You know, and I think because you're so understanding and you create so much space that sometimes when I don't, when you give that much space and I'm not sure if it's coming back with, you know, you're sharing equal amounts of what's going on with you for whatever reason, I wonder maybe she doesn't want to share that much or maybe she's just out of time or maybe she's just tired yeah. or, you know, her mind's on a whole bunch of different things. And I guess there's a, there's a part of me that's like, well, does she, does she trust me? you know, to hold and to be to, to, as confidant for some of these things. So that was a huge slew of things that just came out all at once. But I that's kind it. of what goes through my mind. I'm nodding and I'm looking at you and I'm just being like, I am so grateful that you have the willingness to show up and name all that stuff because every single one of us can resonate with that. And yeah, you're sharing your insecurities and I can share mine. You know, what's so fascinating about two people getting to know each other is like, even if we sat down the very first time we met and said, we are going to be best friends. It's like, even if we both declare that and we didn't, and most people don't, but like, even if we had both had that clarity, like it just, I always think about new friendships. Just, it just takes trial and error and like reading each other and insecurities and trying to be like, you know, what's our pattern going to be? Is is this going to be the friend where I'm always reaching out? Is this a friendship where we go back and forth? What is the, how often are we going to talk? What are we going to talk about? Like, what are we going to do together? I mean, it's just, you just see how many chances there are for like misunderstandings or, or just having two different expectations that are just impossible to like line up every single, every single step of the way. So it's so beautiful to hear your insecurities about, um, you know, am I going to like you? Am I going to be like showing up and committed to that? And that was like never a doubt for me. Like I was like, oh my goodness, she's so fun. And like, yes, of course I want a local friend. And yes, of course, this is so fabulous. And I also was very excited about the, yeah, just another entrepreneur, another, um, another couple that has, that doesn't have kids. You know I mean? We have a, like a lot of very similar lifestyles in that way. And so, so much there. And my insecurities, you touched on them a tiny bit, but like, so it's so fascinating. I've been walking through our whole friendship all year with this sense of like, 
like I'm constantly failing you. <laughs> and I feel like here's, I'll just try to like name the, in the most like pragmatic of terms or whatever, just, it's this feeling of like, I have so many super close friends and I'm kind of like this feeling of like at my limit with who I can like be really, really close to and devoting a ton of time to. And at the very, very same time, I'm like, I want to be friends with Priscilla and I want local friends and I want to have the time and the energy and the space to like build a community here locally and like invest and, um, and feel really close. And yet I'm kind of having this thing in my head where I'm just like, so do I cut back on some of my time spent with some of my, like all my other friends are like long distance, right. And are far away. And so it's like, do I cut back in order to make time on that? Do I need to like, my husband already thinks I spend so much time on my relationship. So do I like try to find more time? And so it's, I've been doing this like dance of, I want to be friends. And I know, I know that I'm not doing all the things that I would do if I were like totally in and saying, let's be best friends. Let's just go there. Um, and so I think I'm, I'm constantly worried that you're kind of judging me like, uh, you know, and like, I'm not doing the things I preach or, you know, that kind of a thing, but it's, and, and that I'm not, and that I'm conflicted myself and that has nothing, 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 nothing to do with who you are and you. It's like, speaks to me kind of trying to like navigate and kind of hold my space. And so what, you know, you're naming some of that too, is like, what, what do I want from you? And like, what is our friendship going to be? And I think these are conversations we just hardly ever have as friends, like in general.